a sculpture called Rebuilding Your Home. I built a little world filled with houses and children playing. And uh, I tried to show both the innocence of children as well as, you know, that it happens around the world that children are harmed. So when we burned the sculpture, it was almost all done. It broke into a million pieces in the process of burning. And that became a parallel to my life because I actually enjoyed putting it back together. I would just really like to encourage anybody who survived something that was terrible, being a survivor of violence, anything, don't give up. And if you can, find a way to be creative. I found out from working with Clay that it brought about many memories. While I was doing the piece at the Garni Museum, I was having flashbacks and I really needed therapy. But at the same time, I found it so healing. What I've been learning about myself is I needed to work on like self-love a lot and not to really external things. I'm, I'm 55 and up until the last two or three years there was a hopelessness in my life that I would never really connect, I would never really integrate, I would never really be part of life. But now there's hope. There's hope. <laughs>